<laughs> All right, into our top story this morning at 632. Health care workers and first responders are on the front lines as the country deals with the coronavirus pandemic. New this morning, local EMS workers are now sharing how they are changing what they do on a daily basis to keep everyone safe. WGEM's Drew Brown is live in Quincy now to explain those procedures. Drew, good morning. Hi, Don, here at the Adams County EMS station. They say they have seen an increase of calls due to people calling reporting of flu-like symptoms, and they are taking extra precautions before they head out the door. We're told EMS workers, they have been prepping since January, and they have ordered extra masks, gloves, and goggles. And their deputy chief, Jessica Free, says all vehicles have thermometers, and they are checking every patient for fevers and asking if they have traveled. She says also on every shift, crew members are having their temperatures checked as well to ensure they are not coming to work with a fever. Something that we've kind of modified right now to protect our patients and our crew members is that we may not have a family member ride in the ambulance as they had in the past with their with our family member. We just kind of want to keep everything as clean as possible and not have that extra potential to bring germs and the virus into the back of the ambulance. She says their calls again have increased to about 28 calls a day, which is up from the average of free says, which is about 15 due to people again calling about reporting for flu like symptoms. Live in Quincy, Drew Brown, WGEM News. Drew, thank you. Here's some more information on this story. So the symptoms of COVID-19, according to the CDC, are fever, cough, and shortness of breath. If you have those symptoms, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have coronavirus, but you're urged to call your local health care provider before you head into the office.